So today you are in for a veritable feast of guitar playing as we look at Radiohead's Street Spirit, parentheses, Fade Out. And it's going to test your right hand and... Hang on, what, what, what are you doing? Where, where are you going? No, 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 bring it back, bring it back. Bring... What are you doing? Fade Out. No, it's the name of the song, you plum. Just roll a track. Hi guys, it's Paul from Chrome Guitar Tuition and uh, welcome back to another video lesson. As I began to say earlier, this week we are looking at Street Spirit by Radiohead, uh, or Fade Out uh, as I think part of it is partly titled. Um, and this is going to be a real feast for us on the guitar. It's a great exercise for your right hand. It's all about that alternate picking, down up, down up, down up, all the way through. And there's also a bit of string skipping going on. So it's a real challenge, um, particularly because it's quite pacey um, in terms of what you're doing. But it's a lot of fun to play and it sounds great. Now there's only really three chords throughout the whole song uh, on the whole. You've got an A minor, uh, an E minor and a C. And then at the end, it just drops in a kind of G or G6, I think it is, kind of based shape, and, and an E. Um, but that's very much just a kind of little bit near the end of the song. For the most part, it revolves around those three chords, A minor, E minor, and C. Now, most of the song follows the same picking pattern. There's a few little variations here and there, which you can learn if you're a perfectionist. If you're not that fussed, most, most people aren't going to pick up on it. Um, until I went back to the tab and looked at it in detail, I hadn't really realised um, that there were little variations here and there. Um, but the basic pattern, if we start with this A minor, what we want to do first is fret an A minor shape but put our fourth finger down at the third fret on the B string, so on that D note there. That's going to set us up for the first time through this pattern. And basically we're going to use that fourth finger for when we hit those notes there. That fourth finger is going to come off so that we can hit that note at the first fret behind it. And then that first finger is also going to lift up when we want that open string. So we're kind of always walking down and that's kind of repeated through the E minor chord and the C chord and every other chord pretty much. But we want strict alternate picking. So we want to start on a down and then go down, up, down, up, down, up, all the way through. So you should finish the pattern each time on an up, ready to go back for a down at the beginning of the next bar. Now there's a lot of string skipping bits going on here, but let's do this slowly and hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. So we're starting on the root there. And we've got quite a big jump up to that high E string. So that's the pattern you really want to work on and you want to be strict on those down and ups to get that and take it really slow to begin with um, just to get the feel for the pattern so that you've kind of got that pattern locked in with this hand. So you don't have to think about it too much and you kind of almost end up on autopilot. Once you've got that kind of pattern on autopilot, really the rest of the song is just moving the chord and doing the same thing over here. Slight variations to hit different roots. So after you've done that A minor, it moves over to an E minor shape. Now I fret the whole thing, so but I use fingers two and three to do my E minor shape for this song. The reason I do that, normally I would use one and two, but I use two and three here because I want to use my first finger later on in the pattern. So again, I put my fourth finger down at the same time on the on the D, so the third fret on the B string. So a bit like I was doing an E, if I was doing an E minor seven, but using slightly different fingers here. And then I put that first finger down behind it. So you just finish your A minor and then you leap across to this E minor shape and you get your root on the low E string and you hit that and then the fifth string. And that's, those are the two 
chords that run through the verse, but when you get to the chorus, we just throw a C in and, you know, we fret our C as normal, but we're going to put that fourth finger down on the third fret on the B string again. And then we go through the E minor A and A minor, just a slight change on the variations, you'll see it on the tab. So when we get to that E minor, we still start on the root, but rather than then hit the fifth string, we hit the fourth string. And you hear there, you might have heard that last note, we finish on an open B, rather than going back to that, uh, that G string there. So there's just a little variation, it's on the tab. It's the same with the A minor, rather than finishing... Like I say, it's very small vari uh, variations. You might not even really pick up on it when you're playing in the middle of a whole mix. Um, so don't worry about it too much. It's much more important that you get the, those chords right and get that picking pattern nice and consistent. So at the end of the song, we've got that G6 uh, and an E section coming in. Um, to do that, we're going to play the G with our third finger at the third fret on the E string, and then we're going to use our fourth and first fingers as we've been doing all the way through. And it pretty much follows the same pattern. There are some slight variations. It's all on the tab. After we've done our G6, we've got an E shape, um, which we're going to play um, in a very similar way to what we've been doing with our E minor. We're just going to have to move that first finger partway through the riff. Um, and you'll also notice, uh, if you look at the tab, that a lot of the time you're bouncing back to this fourth string rather than the third string. So it's just a little variation, so just keep you on your toes. And you've got to remember that near the end of this bar, we're lifting off our first finger, but then rather than just keeping it off like we were with the E minor, we're going to plonk it down at the first fret on the uh, G string, as if we then had a proper E chord. So initially you're fretting it the same as you would with that E minor, and then we go like this. So you notice the difference at the end there is we get that open string, but then we have to put that first finger down on the G string at the first fret. And finishing on that open B there. So if you look at the rest of the song, um, it goes through another G6, it goes through another E, and there's slight variations in each bar, but the basic pattern and what you're doing is pretty much the same, but you can learn all the variations if you want to. The real key with, with this is, of course, just take it slow to start with, work really hard at getting those up and downs and uh, you'll get there in absolutely no time. The only other little bit is right at the end, uh, that last bar, uh, you just need to kind of slow down the pace as the song ends. So just bring it down to a slower finish. Um, so a gradual uh, slow down basically. So it's a really good song. Uh, you'll have lots of fun playing it. It's a great exercise for this hand um, and for your, your alternate picking and your string skipping. So enjoy that. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, thanks for watching. For more guitar tips and video lessons, click on the subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments what songs or video lessons you'd like to see. If you want to keep up with some of our news, you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter or you can always check out our website, crowbrookguitartuition.com.